The great mosques stand white and silent in the sun, their domes boiling in the heat and turning to bubbling liquid stone. Let's go inside one. This is the entrance to the Blue Mosque, one of the most beautiful in the city. The domes tumbling about in a casual cascade. The courtyard, serene and quiet. The minarets, dignified and proud. But before you can go in, you must put on a pair of overshoes, or take your own off, but that could be embarrassing. Overshoes are easier, but they're certainly over. Mine are about seven sizes over. And this is the bowl of the Blue Dome, poised, pretty and delicate on these mighty pillars. The whole place is a beautiful fusion of blue. Pale blue, sky blue, sea blue, turquoise blue. Soft, soothing, cool blue. And the great open floor is heavily laid with Turkish carpets. Wonderful old carpets whose weavers have been dead for 300 years. But the carpets completely deaden any cathedral echo it's a most comforting and sympathetic atmosphere. And look at this iron spider candelabra. It fumbles its oriental way all over the mosque. And there's a dear old English grandfather clock. It was presented by Queen Victoria to the Turks. It looks beautifully awkward in English here. But it's still going. And I must be going too. Up to the smart end of the city. That's a large new American hotel where all the large new Americans like to stay. They've dug themselves a mighty fine pool. And here, for a consideration, and in splendid isolation, you can have a holiday just like the ones you have way back home. But the great place for a picnic is on one of the Prince's Islands in the Sea of Marmara, an hour and a half steamer ride from Istanbul. This is where the Istanbulers like to come to relax. This is where the trees are just right for hammocks. And hammocks are just right. When Turks go on a picnic, they really go on a picnic. The stuff they don't want, they sling away. And the stuff they want, they hang in the trees. There's Kemal, Abdul and the boys having their photographs taken. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Never mind. But everyone enjoys themselves the way they like best. Half the picnickers squander their time away, tearing about after a ball. and the other half fritter it away in sleeping and swinging. Uh oh here's Robin Hood and friend. Your merry men, sire, are dancing on the green. That's the sort of picnic place it is. Somebody starts dancing and one by one the others join in. Soon everybody's at it. Everybody? No, dear, you're not old enough. But they'd like it up here in the trees. Well, the beaches are very small and there's hardly any sand on the island. Bathing's not all that easy. And so they stay under the trees. Still, I mustn't stay much longer. I must get a coach and two back to the steamer. It's the only way to get about, unless you walk. But not many seem to walk. 
Oh, yeah, she has a few. Woo! <laughs> I still haven't bought any presents yet. I must try the bazaar before I go. And here we are. Now, let's see. What's he buying? Handkerchiefs. Mm. That's a bit ordinary, isn't it? No, let's move on. This bazaar is an extraordinary place. There are something like 4,000 shops huddled together under these old roofs. That's the trouble. There's too much to choose from. Look at it. I must try not to buy anything daft, like a brass coffee tray. Now, don't be silly. You know you don't want it. Leave it. I know, but that's the trouble. You just get bemused in the bazaar. But the whole of Istanbul is like an enormous bazaar. A vigorous, hugger-mugger coral reef. And where in the wide world is there anywhere more grubby, more bewildering, and more beautiful? <laughs>